Hey guys, it's Fistful of Cloth here today, and so this Monster Legends analysis video, we are going to be deciding which one of the Walking Dead monsters is the best, since they are actually coming back. Alright, so if you didn't know, apparently there's going to be a chance to get the Walking Dead monsters again, and this will be the last chance ever. So I'm basically going to be going over all the best ones, and I'm going to be telling you guys which one you want to get. Alright, so I have a Daryl, I have a Maggie, and I have Carol. These three are much better than the other ones. They're definitely the best ones. Daryl and Maggie. Maggie are probably a little bit better than Carol, but Carol is still very good, so we're going to go over her as well. So, Daryl is an attacker, Maggie is a support, and Carol is a cursor or support. And Daryl's traits are going to be the average Walking Dead traits up here, which are Undead Hater, Fear Immunity, and Hardened. All of the Walking Dead monsters have that at rank 0. And then at rank 1, he is Guard Down Hater, at rank 3, Dark Protection, at rank 4, Double Healing, and at rank 5, Pierce. Which, Pierce is very, very good. And his relics are Amulet and Sword. And then Maggie, for her traits, has the average Walking Dead one. She has Torture Immunity, Control Immunity, which are both very, very good. Area Damage Reduction, and Team Evasion. So she does actually have better traits than Daryl, in my opinion. And then Carol has the average Walking Dead one. She's got Anticipation and on, which is pretty great. Blind Immunity, Area Stamina Leak, and Area Vulnerable, which are also very, very good. But I do think that Maggie has the best traits out of these three. And then if we go on down to pros and cons on all three of them, you you can see that none of them really have that many cons at all. And Daryl's pros are amazing try, access to pierce before damage, PR before damage can reapply pierce, access to quicksands, bleed, and damage reduction, access to self heals and torture removal skills, metal and a light meta, amazing power stack, great relics, and zero cooldown on heals. And his cons are high cooldowns on best moves, no AoE skills, which is kind of disappointing, and low damaging skills. And then if we go over to Maggie, she's got a busted trait, which yeah, her trait is very, very good. Good. definitely the best out of these three amazing supportive abilities in team itt which is torture immunity itc which is control immunity healing evasion and random positives she also has great cursing abilities and cooldown activation shock and trait disable which are all great she has a zero stamina zero cooldown ner which is amazing she has three team ner's which are great she can stop anticipation with trait disable plus self extra turn which is really good she's got low cooldowns and really low stamina cards, great relic slots, and she's the fastest monster in the game, apparently. And her cons are moderate to high cooldowns. And then Carol has a great trait, single PER skill on zero cooldown, great cursing abilities such as vulnerable, total blind, and PEB, which are all very amazing. Mostly low cooldowns along with stamina cards, good element, access to ally turn transfer and NER, which is great. Can apply fire and light weakness. Single PER and AoE vulnerable with an extra turn, which is great. great Great relics and amazing stats. Her only con is extra turns or anticipation bait. So the best pros in my opinion are probably Maggie as well actually just because of her trait as well that is a big big pro and she is also apparently the fastest monster in the game when she came out so that is very very good and yeah she's just got some really great pros so she is probably at the best pros wise so now let's go on down to the move sets so Daryl is going to have a self skill mirror he's got a self pierce he's got self remove tortures and another self pierce and both of the pierce moves apply pierce first which is very good so yeah he's got a pretty good move set honestly it's not super op or anything though but that is unranked so his ranked moveset is right here so he has a single total damage reduction with removed tortures which is pretty good he's got major damage reduction with quicksands and he's got his self pierce with a 50 percent heal and he also has a per so yeah again just not like super powerful but he does have really good moves and then we have a maggie's moves right here we have a team ner with torture immunity and control immunity which is great a team ner with 50 percent heal and random positive a per with trait disable which is great a disabled trait with extra turn which is great and a per with team evasion so yeah really really good moves these are really op and then if we go over to carol she's going to have actually let's just look at her ranked move set she's going to have an ally extra turn with stamina regen a team ner with aoe fire weakness and light weakness an aoe vulnerable with an extra turn which is incredible and a total blind with guard down which is also pretty good so she does have a really busted move here with per aoe vulnerable and an extra turn but this move honestly is not super duper good it does have team nr which is really good but the fire weakness and light weakness 
darkness are kind of meh. So I do think that Maggie is the best one out of the three. She is very, very powerful. But if you want to buy multiple, you could go for Daryl as well. Because both are really, really amazing. And if you really want to buy multiple, you could buy Carol as well on top of those two. But make sure to get Maggie and Daryl first because they are better. But yeah, you could get Carol as well and use all three of them on a team and it would work really great. So yeah, that's the one we have for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.